Nandini had likes and like nots. The things that she liked involved studies, games, computers, partying, and being on top of everything that she did, and learning new tricks for her guitar and badminton on internet on her own. The things that she liked not were being alone, being at home, being second to anyone in anything. Nandini had been at it since a year now, and she finally launched her app for learning guitar lessons, Guitar Mantra. It had been downloaded by 50,000 people across the world in seven days since its launch. The Delhi Modern High School Morning Assembly of the first Friday of November 2018 was a special occasion for Nandini. She was being given the School President's Medal for extraordinary innovative work in the area of science and computers for 2018-19, and she was making a presentation for her app, Guitar Mantra, at the school's morning special assembly. The next day, Saturday, 3rd November, Nandini's friend Tina came over to Nandini's place. Tina was 15, a year older to Nandini, but she studied in the same class and they were very good friends. Tina studied in SRM Senior Secondary School, Delhi. Tina was a big fan and follower of online computerized games. She had seen and downloaded Nandini's app, Guitar Mantra. While playing together, Tina had downloaded few games on Nandini's smartphone also. Whole day had passed, playing together indoors. In the evening, Nandini's mother, Mrs. Sinha, said aloud, Hey girls, have some sandwiches and go out and play badminton. Tina, you have dinner with us and then your parents will come to take you along home. Your mother, Mrs. Banerjee, had called. They will be here by 9 p.m. And please girls, also take Babu with you outdoors. He loves to see Nandini play badminton at the badminton court. Nandini plays a smash in badminton. Babu said, Wow, Didi, great shot. You are the best, Didi. Nandini said, Love you, Babu. Tina and others looked on. Mrs. Sinha shouted out from balcony, Come in, children. Let's have dinner. Tina, your parents are here. It's Christmas time. The schools are closed. This year, Nandini and Babu have not been able to go out on vacation. Mr. Sinha did not get leave from his office. And it was gloomy and cold outside. Delhi air pollution had risen to an alarmingly high level. It was very, very smoggy. Nandini was getting bored. While fiddling with her smartphone, Nandini chanced upon games downloaded by Tina when she had come over last month. Nandini started playing Coin Master and then it was dinner time in few hours. Nandini carried on with the unfinished game after dinner and went to bed at 2 a.m. at night. Mrs. Sinha saw Nandini play computer game at 1 a.m. when she had woken up to take Babu to the loo, but did not say anything, thinking it is holidays time and children have nothing much to do and it is also difficult to play outside and children are getting bored. School reopens after the winter break. In the music class, Mr. Call, the music teacher, called Nandini to play guitar for the school band. But what has happened? Nandini is completely out of tune. Mr. Call said, Nandini, you are looking so tired and your fingers are also looking so red and soft. Take care, Nandini. Girls and boys, said Mr. Call, let's move on. We'll practice the vocals today. That day at home, Nandini cried alone in a room with guitar in her hand. She knew 
why she had faltered at the guitar today. Mrs. Sinha came in to console Nandini. Mrs. Sinha knew that Nandini had been staying awake till late night regularly playing games on her smartphone. Mrs. Sinha said, "Don't worry Nandini, you are a strong girl. Just stop playing those games online." But Nandini knew that she had tried already to leave playing the games but had not succeeded. She was worried. How much had her life changed in just about a month? Then one day, some day in February, a thunderstorm blew into Delhi. A lightning struck the electric tower and transformer giving supply to Nandini's housing society had gone. And there was no sign of power for the next 3-4 days. The housing society's diesel generator had also been damaged by the thunderstorm. The schools had announced holiday for the next 4 days and Nandini's gadgets, smartphone, computer, tablet all had lost power. Nandini was getting fidgety. She had coin master on her mind but no way to play the game. Suddenly Nandini saw Babu's toys. There were trucks, there were bulldozers, there were cars and helicopters and all of them were running around. Nandini's 4 year old kid brother was playing and enjoying himself with his toys. Nandini was a tech genius and suddenly she had an idea the batteries of babu's toys were mercilessly taken out to produce electricity to charge nandini's gadgets oh god it was so cruel babu had become sad and silent and helpless he could only say with teary eyes didi you are a genius i love you didi i love you didi i love you didi i love you didi The words kept ringing in Nandini's head. The spell of Coin Master had broken. She ran and embraced Babu and said, "I love you, Babu." Mr. and Mrs. Sinha were watching all these and were happy again. They had got their daughter back. The whole family embraced each other.